Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, so uh, today I just wanted to do another Dark Souls 3 video talking about backing up your save because I think it's pretty important. Um, I probably do it more than most, but it's something I just wanted to quickly go through. So in the past, um, it used to be recommended to back up your saves if someone injected invalid items like, you know, a plus 99, um, plus 99 uh, Storm Ruler or they, you yeah, know, injected uh, gestures like toast gestures into your inventory uh, which has happened to me in the past you can't get banned for item injects anymore but i still think it's a pretty good idea to back up saves as a as just a common practice um and you never know what a hacker can do to you that might get you banned um, i've had them change my entire appearance before um, and when anything like that happens i immediately do a, a save backup but there's also other applications as well which i think are pretty handy but i'll get to those after showing you so i want to get through the steps as quickly as possible so say you're progressing your character you know whether it's a pve or a pvp build and you get to where you need you know you, you progress somewhere new in the game and you're at the end of your gaming session uh what you do is you want to um to make your backup quit out save the game and return to the title menu and then from here you want to type into your search bar then app data percent app data and this will bring you to your roaming folder and dark souls 3 this will be your folder just here and this in here will be your sl file so all you have to do is copy that and then i i actually store mine um, both on a google drive um uh, periodically but um locally on, a, on on my external drive just go into games backup saves you see i already have one in here so i'm not going to make another one but just you just paste it here in your backup save folder and then you just go back into your game and you just continue on and then say something happens like may maybe you make a mistake mistake in a quest line maybe you accidentally get a gray rat gray rat killed or maybe you accidentally mess up anry's quest line or yol of londor's quest line and you need to go back what you or you know if a hacker if someone comes into your game who's a hacker and does something malicious and you don't want to risk getting a ban all you do is simply alt f4 out of your game You just go into your uh, backup save. Just copy it. And then I actually, rather than doing percent app data percent every time, I've actually just pinned it to my quick access. So it's just really quick. Just click on it. Go in there. Now, don't paste and replace. Actually hit delete because if you make a mistake, then it will be in your recycling bin. And then just paste. And then you can just go back in to Dark Souls and it will be whatever your last backup was. So I think that's a really good practice to get into. And it's not just handy for um, if so, if hackers come in and mess up your game. Um, I mean, I back up my, I, I reload my backup save after every PvP session, to be honest. Um, and also there's some other applications. So say you're a challenge runner or a speed runner, or you just want to practice the game. As you're running through the game, you could you could like um, say for every single boss, you save and quit out the game. You copy the SL file um, and say that you know this was uh, just before you fight Madea. You could go uh, to your backup saves. You could create like a folder and just call it Madea and you just paste it, and then you have a um, a save file to practice for Madea because a lot of bosses or at least some bosses their initial wake up animation will only be happen the first time that you do that boss fight fight and then in um uh succeeding attempts at that boss they'll already be awake and it will be uh be slightly different um so this is a good way to uh, practice splits if you need to um and another one is i've never you know dark souls is pretty um pretty liberal with the amount of save files it gives you uh you get 10 per sl file but some people uh, apparently they need more than 10 builds so you could even in your backup saves you know have like um you know characters one to ten and you could put an sl file in there and then you could have uh another sl file 
You could have like characters uh, 11 to 20, and you could have essentially 20 different builds. That would be another way of um, applying this practice. And then you might want to put in like a Word document in these folders just to explain, just to remind yourself which one has, what, what, what builds are in which one, etc. Um, so that's another application. Um, and also, I just want to give some words of warning. Um, don't sh If you plan on playing online or if your friend's planning on playing online, don't share your SL files because sharing SL files will get you banned. I accidentally got my friend penalized. Um, he's not really into playing the game online anyway, so it didn't really matter to him. But I did actually get him banned by uh, sending him one of my SL files. So don't share SL files if you want to play online. It will get you banned. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, I plan to be covering more uh, some other games I play, like um, Hollow Knight and, and Sekiro on that, on how to back up saves. It's, it's essentially the same thing, but um, slightly different in, in each of them. So I thought I might uh, kind of do a video series doing all this sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so thanks if you found the video helpful. Uh, leave a like and a comment. Subscribe. I'm really trying to get to a 1,000 subscribers. It'd be really helpful. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.